The disorders here in Louisville began at this corner, the intersection of 28th and Greenwood on the city's west side. It began as a black power rally, but it ended up as a mob of rock and brick throwing looters. But many of the people who live in this neighborhood, the Negroes who live here, say that the trouble didn't really start last night. They say it started a long time ago with a white policeman who works in their neighborhood. What do you want to continue? Yes. Uh, All right. What day, please? What, what day do you want to be back? Uh, My Honor, I'd just go ahead and follow the way. Instead of continuing. Well, are you the arresting officer? Yeah.
Yeah. I think we better Why, take please. it. Tuesday, your regular court date, June the 25th. June the 25th. Thank you, Your Honor. Police officer. This new case, as I understand. No, no, it's an old case. Well, this is Mr. Hedges' case, too. Let's well, see if you... Are you the arresting officer? Do you have the alleged victim here? Or do you know? Do you have no objection? Thank you. All right. Case 149, Judge, see if you have a... Officers coming out of the liquor store at 32nd and Young with a sordid amount of cigarettes and beer. And it's also a narcotic case. I'm sorry. No, I'm number sorry. Nine. All right, let the record show on case number nine, Robert Taylor, that the attorney is stipulating that the chemist would testify that it is morphine or morphine derivative. Is that it? Pure, it looks like. This is a bond jumping charge. How much bond is he under now? Under... Five hundred. Rebound a thousand. July the twenty-sixth. <laughs> Case number fifty-four, Mister Friedman. For fifty-four, Billy Joe Shaw, alias Cotton, number five four. That's why, please. Is anybody here from the prosecution? Mm, looks like they are. Is are your you? man here? Oh yes, he's in custody. Oh. Are you? All right. The 32nd Gordon's drug broke out the window. And 4E caught inside liquor store, 1037 South 32nd, carrying whiskey out of the store. Officers asked for a Tuesday. On June, June the 14th, bond $20,000. Police officer present, subpoena the prosecuted witness. In both cases. $20,000. $20,000 bond. Case number 75, Donald Lee Craig. Listen to the police and the prosecuting yes, witness. June the 19th. That's a warrant case. Yeah. Any of you gentlemen have a lawyer? No, here it is, right here. A breach of peace. It's on the bottom of it. Apparently, they didn't give it a number, Judge. Huh? Right here. Well, uh, on one fifty, on are we talking about William Finch? William Finch. Well, he has breach of peace and malicious striking. Apparently, the malicious, malicious, malicious striking strike looks like an old warrant to me. Yeah. All right, tell me what that's about. It's funny. On the malicious striking, Winslow Field says that he struck him about the head with a two by four. Also on the left arm, breaking the same in two places. When did that supposed to happen? Taken on the 16th of March. Right. Taken, and what's the breach of peace? By the, police. Uh, the breach of the peace was on was last night, or the day, May the 28th, 12:50 a.m. Which one is Mr. Finch? Right. Well, what does it say? Two other males had stolen property. Stolen property. We no stolen property. Well, now wait a minute. We're not trying it today. I'm trying to get him to tell me what it's supposed to be about. Property and a 123 same thing in car with other males had two had stolen property on what property? Watches, jewelry, necklaces, things of that nature. And you, Ring. gentlemen, you all need a lawyer. The case has to be continued. You at this stage, you I assume you haven't been able to necessarily identify the property. Was it 123? 111, 123, 150. All other cases continue to July the 14th, bond $2,000 each, the police officer present. Bond $2,000. The trouble spread from this Negro neighborhood to scattered areas of the city. Police reported sporadic incidents of vandalism and looting and violence through the night. By morning, more than eight persons had been injured, two by bullet wounds, and more than a hundred people had been arrested. Those arrested appeared Tuesday in police court. For most of them, bond was set at $20,000, and the cases were continued. Hundreds of National Guardsmen were deployed into the main area of disturbance. They will remain until officials are certain that calm has been restored. By some standards, it was not a major racial disorder, but the people here in Louisville, black and white, are afraid it could be worse the next time. Don Farmer, ABC News in Louisville, Kentucky.